ಅಜಂತಂ ರಮ ರಮೀತಿ ಮಧುರಂ ಮಧುರಾಕ್ಷರ ಆರುಹ್ಯ ಕವಿತ ಶಾಖಾ ವಂದೇ ವಾಲ್ಮೀಕಿ ಕೋಕಿಲ ರಾಮಾಯ ರಾಮ ಭದ್ರಾಯ ರಾಮಚಂದ್ರಾಯ ವೇದಸೆ ರಘುನಾಥಾಯ ನಾಥಾಯ ಸೀತೆಯ ಶ್ರುತ ಸಂತ್ರಾಸ ಧ್ವಾಂತ ವಿಧ್ವಂಸ ನೋದಯ ಪ್ರಭಾವಾನ್ ಸೀತೆಯ ದೇವ್ಯ ಪರಮ ವ್ಯೋಮ ಭಾಸ್ಕರ ಪರಮ ವ್ಯೋಮ ಭಾಸ್ಕರ ಶ್ರೀಮತಿ ನಿಗಮಾಂತ ಮಹಾದೇಶಿಕಾಯ ನಮಃ ಸೀತಾ in her state of pregnancy was abandoned in the middle of the forest upon the command of rama by lakshmana looking at sita cry the antaranga sishyas of valmiki informed to the maharishi and valmiki understanding what had happened took sita to his ashramam and gave her all the comforts like how a dutiful brother would do to his sister valmiki who was born of the ant hill who is treated as the very son of mother earth housed sita who was born on mother earth and who is treated as mother earth's daughter so it was a very beautiful brother sister relationship between the two while this happened valmiki was very doubtful of rama's acts he thought for a moment if the person whom i have revered all along as a repository of all auspicious qualities how could he do this to sita all this or till this it is uttara kandam the last canto of ramayanam here when he was worried as to why did rama do this is when the bala kandam the first canto begins so bala ayodhya aranya kishkinda sundara yuddha and uttara kandam the seven cantos should not be treated as a linear chain it is cyclic where uttara kandam stops at one particular juncture bala kandam begins while he was worried the great ascetic the great tapasvi called valmiki was worried that is when on his own maharishi called narada who had earlier advised him to uh, recite the name of mara and made ratnakara into the resplendent valmiki had now come back to valmiki's ashramam again that is when the first shloka of balakandam begins a very important shloka tapasvadhyaya niratam tapasvi vagvidam varam ನಾರದಂ ಪರಿಪ್ರಚ್ಛ ವಾಲ್ಮೀಕಿರ್ ಮುನಿಪುಂಗವ ತಪಸ್ವಾಧ್ಯಾಯ ನಿರತ ತಪ ಆಲೋಚನೆ ಧಾತು ದ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಕೀಪ್ಸ್ ಕಾಂಟಂಪ್ಲೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಆರ್ ಇಂಟರ್ನಲೈಸಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ತಪಸ್ವಿ ಆರ್ ದಟ್ ಪ್ರಾಸೆಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ತಪ ತಪ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಡಸ್ ಇನ್ ಮೆಡಿಟೇಷನ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ನಾಟ್ ಮೆಡಿಟೇಷನ್ ಯು ಹ್ ಟು ಕಾಂಟಂಪ್ಲೇಟ್ ರಿಯಲೈಸ್ ತಪಸ್ವಾಧ್ಯಾಯ ನಿರತ ವಿತ್ ಇಂಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಇಮೆನ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟಿಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ದಸ್ ದಟ್ ತಪ ಬಿ ಫ್ರಕ್ಟಿಫೈಡ್ ತಪಸ್ವಾಧ್ಯಾಯ ನಿರತ ದ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಈಸ್ ಅಡೆಪ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ತಪಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸ್ವಾಧ್ಯಾಯ ತಪಸ್ವಾಧ್ಯಾಯ ನಿರತ ತಪಸ್ವಿ ವಾಗ್ವಿಧಾಂ ವರಂ ದ ಒನ್ who is very eloquent who knows what to speak when to speak and how to speak that maharishi called narada naradam paripa pracha with such questions that were to be put forth to narada maharishi valmiki muni pungavam this valmiki addressed and gave his benedictions and obeisances to that maharishi called valmiki who is muni pungava 
the one who is the leader of all munis, manana shilaha munihi, those people who keep thinking are called munihi. So, to that one who is an eloquent speaker, to that one who is adept in tapas and swadhyaya, the one who is the leader of munis, to that particular Narada Maharishi, the great ascetic or tapasvi called as uh, Valmiki Maharishi welcomed and put forth his questions in a very respectful manner. Lord Krishna tells Arjuna in Shri Srimad Bhagavad Gita, Pariprashnena sevaya upadekshanti te jnanam jnaninaha tattva darshinaha tadvidhi pranipatena pariprashnena. Hey Arjuna, there is not, nothing wrong in asking questions, but serve that Guru, Acharya, first. Because out of your service, through your service, the Acharya will be so happy that he himself will bless you what you want. So, this particular shloka tells even while questioning, we should have so much of humility. You should not ask questions to the other person to put that person in a catch-22 situation, to pull down that person. Ask questions in a very respectful manner because this Vedic civilization, this Sanatana Dharma is one Dharma that insists that you listen and put forth questions. It encourages questioning. It does not say that if you ask questions, I will kill you, I will behead you, nothing of that sort. You can ask questions, but do that in a very respectful manner, say Sanatana Dharma. So very respectfully, Valmiki put forth certain questions to Narada because his doubt was, how could Rama do this? If Rama himself, the one who is revered as Maryada Purushottam himself has abandoned the pregnant Sita in the forest, what can we advise the other normal primitive mortals and human beings? That is when he asks these questions. Kon vasmin sampratam loke gunavan. Sampratam loke, in this particular world, in the current world, he Narada Maharshi, tell me Sampratam Loke, Kon Vas means Sampratam Loke, Gunavan, Gunavan, Guna means generally quality. But here the commentator Govindaraja states, Guna means Saushilyam, the ability for a person to mingle with other people in his society despite the disparity in knowledge, wealth and affluence. I could be rich, he could be poor. I could be learned, he could be less educated. But I should move with that person in such a fashion that the other person doesn't even realize this disparity between us. That gunam, that quality is called saushilyam. So the saushilyam, this great quality of accessibility of Rama to everyone is denoted by the word gunam. Kon vasmin sampratam loke gunavan. Valmiki asks Narada Maharshi, who on this earth, now in the current world, has Gunavan, Saushilyam, Kascha Viryavan, the one who has got Viryam, very good valor, courage, Dharmagnyascha, Kritagnyascha, Dharmagnyaha, the one who is able to distinguish between Sadhana or Bhakti Yogam, and Sharanagati or Nyasa Yogam, the one who has a clear demarcation of this Hita, that person, Dharmagnyascha, Kritagnyascha, the one who is very grateful to his citizens, to his parents, to his teacher and to all those who have helped him achieve such great heights. Kritagnyascha, Satyavakyo Dridhavrataha, Satyavakyo Dridhavrataha, Satyavakya. The one who adheres to truth only, Dridhavrataha, the one who has vowed to keep up his promises. Then he says, Vidwan kakasamarthascha charitrena chako yuktaha, the one who is adept in good character, Sarva bhuteshu ko hitaha, the one who thinks good for all beings around him, just not human beings, dogs, cats herbivorous, carnivorous. This person should not have enmity or disgust towards any animals or any creations in this world. Sarvabhuteshu kohitaha vidvan kaha, the one who can be called a scholar. Kasamarthaha, the one who can be called adept, very smart. 
the one who is so handsome to look at generally they say beauty without brains right here they should be brains and beauty then he says the one who knows to respect himself when i say himself he knows atma sakshatkaram he knows how to meditate upon the jivatma and thereby understand the paramatma the one who has won over anger Dutiman ko anasuyakaha, the one who is radiant and the one who is not jealous of the achievements of his peers around him. Kasya bibhyati devas jata roshasya sanyuge. But looking at whom, even the celestials, even the devas will fear for a moment. Who is he? Vedam says, um, uh, that is, uh, Bhishasmad Vatav Pavate Bhishodeti Suryaha. Bhishasmad Agnita Indrascha Mrityur Dhavati Panchamaiti. Even Agni, Indra, Yama, they should fear him. Who is he? Kasya Bibhyati Devascha Jataroshasya Sanyuge. Thereby, Narada had to listen to this question where Valmiki had asked, in this present world, who is that person who has got all these 16 qualities? He listed down the 16 qualities, right? It doesn't mean a person can have one out of the 16. He should have all these 16 in its complete form. Who is he? He asked. That is when Narada Maharishi with a smile listened patiently to these questions put forth by Valmiki Maharishi. Narada knew why these questions were being uttered or being asked by Valmiki now. Because Valmiki had in his mind that Rama, whom I have revered, has abandoned his pregnant wife in the forest. When a person is not able to respect his own wife, on what basis can he be called Maryada Purushottam? So these were the questions that were uh, there inside the mind or the brain of um, uh, Valmiki Maharishi. Narada knew that. So he then waits for a minute. For a minute he meditates smiles, experiences within himself and then says, I will tell you who that person's name is. Now, if he knew who that person who had all these 16 auspicious attributes, Narada should have immediately told the answer. But why did he take the time? The commentator, the Vyakhyata states, when some dish is made in our house, which is very tasty, made with lot of love and dedication, and probably when we make it ourselves or uh, somebody in my house, be it my mother, my wife, my sister, somebody gives it to me, my brother, my father, whoever gives it to me, when I consume it, I will put it inside my mouth, relish it for some time and then say it is excellent. So even to give a feedback, you will have to internalize that particular possession. So the answer was known to Narada Maharishi, but he wanted to internalize the joy of reciting that particular Nama. Now Valmiki was all years, sir, please tell me that one person who has got these 16 qualities, what he thought was, I had been thinking Rama was the person, but no more it is Rama, it must be some other person. And Valmiki is about, Narada Maharishi is about to give me that answer. Please tell me, sir, who is that person? Asked um, Valmiki with all that curiosity. To which Narada Maharishi said, Ikshva kuvamsha prabhavaha Ramo namajanai shrutaha The one who has come in the lineage of Ikshvaku. Ikshvaku Kulatilaka. The one who has been revered by his subjects, that person is Rama. Valmiki sat in an uh, element of surprise and shock because he was all the while thinking it was Rama and then decided it is not Rama and there is somebody else. And when Narada Maharishi says so confidently that it is Rama alone who has these 16 qualities, then Narada was again put forth to a test. What I have been thinking was wrong? Or what Narada is saying is wrong. How can I understand that Rama has got all these 16 qualities? With these questions in his mind, he was a bit worried. We shall see what happens to this worried uh, Valmiki Bhagavan in the next episode. Dear Astika reader, I am happy to be authoring a two-part book on the Ramayana in English. The first part is slated for release in the year 2024. The book aims to recreate and retell 
the Ramayana of Valmiki conforming to the ancient commentaries and other allied literature. To receive notifications of the book release, kindly register with www.deshikadaya.org slash books. Namaskaram.